Hi everyone, welcome to another video of the channel. So recently I took the 2024 Amy and I want to show you guys the solution to problem number six, which I found pretty interesting. And I will be releasing solutions to problem seven, eight, and nine uh, later as well. So we have this little puzzle. We have an eight by eight grid and we have a path shown in red from the bottom left to the top right corner where you can only turn right or go up and it has to have exactly four turns, which are the red dots in the diagram. And now the question is, how many such paths are there? So to get started, first of all, we will um, split this problem into two cases. Note that there are either the paths where the first movement is to the right and paths where the first movement is up. But these paths, uh, but these cases both have the same number of paths in them. So we will simply first consider the case where the first movement is to the right and then multiply by two. So multiply by two is something we cannot forget to do at the end. All right. So now the question is, how do we define a path? Like what parameters are there that define a path? Well, of course, it's the turns, right? So first of all, you have to turn somewhere along this horizontal bottom edge of the grid, right? You have to somehow get off that grid. So that's the first thing you have to do. Then you have to make these two turns right here somewhere in the middle of the grid where you will eventually get through a movement upwards to this top part. And then uh, this turn, of course, is already predetermined, right? Um, this is not actually something that, de something that determines the path. It is purely determined by this turn right here. So these three turns right here is what actually determines um, the path. So basically, we need to find... How many ways are there to make these turns? Well, first of all, we will consider these two turns that I am pointing to in the blue arrow. And the reason we will consider these two tur turns together is because each of these turns corresponds to exactly one of these seven columns, right, of the, of the grid, um, the seven uh, vertical lines of the grid. So once we choose two of them, right, these two turns are going to be along the two vertical lines that we chose. Therefore, there's exactly seven choose two different ways to choose these two turns. Now, once you do that, there's exactly seven ways to determine this turn right here. And that's because once you choose these two turns, right, you can make the path like this. You can make it like this, right, and so on. So there's exactly seven ways where you can place this turn once the vertical lines along which the first two turns are going to be placed on are determined. So we have to multiply this seven choose two by seven to complete all of the paths in the first movement is to the right case. Of course, then we have to multiply by two to get the total number of paths. And the answer is seven choose two times seven times two which is equal to 294. And that is the answer, and that is actually is the solution that I used on the actual exam. So stay tuned for the next couple of problems, and I will see you later. Thank you for watching.